This episode sponsored by Lake Monster Details, producing the Don's Light and Magic Legacy line of parts, offering upgrade parts and decals for accuracy, special effects, and lighting. Visit www.lakemonsterdetails.com and make it glow. Also sponsored by GCALS, producing aftermarket replacement decals and custom quality graphics for your favorite spaceships. Visit www.gcals.company.site and add some personalization to your sci-fi models today. Also sponsored by Mask Design, boldly going where no masking kit has gone before. Take your model to the next level of detail and accuracy with a masking kit from Mask Design. Visit Mask Design on Facebook or click the ordering link in the notes below the video. Hey, what's up fellow modelers? Will here. Welcome to the Engines Chair. This episode, we are going to reach a milestone. Finally, after almost a year now working on this, uh, saucer's gotten sealed up. It's all sealed up now. Done all the light checking. Everything checks out. Everything's working great. Uh, you can see, let's see, the wreck deck back here turned out nice. I'm going to talk about that, some tweaks I did to that. And uh, a couple of little tweaks I did to the lighting. There's our forward observation. You can see that there's that lower spotlight and our upper spotlight is working and uh, yeah strobe lights working impulse crystals working everything's good to go but um, so we're gonna get that done my next step is gonna be to work on that seam around the edge of the saucer and reinstall or, or reapply those uh, sensor grid the, the sensor grid lamp lot yeah the sensor grid lines around the saucer's edge. So I'm going to be working on that. But uh, I'm going to mention at the end of this video, uh, it might be a little before I get another video out after this, uh, the, the uh, Richmond IPMS Old Dominion Open is uh, in four weeks. And uh, I, I haven't been to one, so I want to go to this one, and I want to uh, put my Kronos one and my Grissom in. But the Grissom, there's a couple tweaks I want to make to that. And also, I have got to finish the display base uh, that I've put some pictures out there that I've been toying with, but I haven't really put a lot of work into it so far. So I've been trying to get this Ian, uh, the Ian Lawrence build up and going. But uh, I'm going to have, have to kind of put this on the back burner for a little bit um, to at least get those things done so I have them ready for the Old Dominion Open at the end of February. And uh, uh, also, it'll have them ready for Wonderfest in a couple months. So I'm going to be working on that stuff. But... Uh, Anyway, let's get into this build. Give me a minute. I'll put you on the bench. We'll get to work. Where I'm at on the, uh, the lower sensor dome. Now, like I said in uh, a previous video, I've already got uh, these windows, the uh, acrylic insert windows from Fire Laser Fire Creations put in. I've already moved the phaser banks from around the bottom here. So now I'm working on the lower sensor dome, and I'm working out getting a uh, spotlight from the stock kit part and the uh, clear pieces that go to it so uh i'll show you what i've got and then i'll show you how i got there so give me a second let me uh see if i can get this battery to connect there we go turn this light off and there you go yeah i'll turn this monitor off yep. get this monitor turn off there we go now you can see Maybe you can't see enough now. <laughs> you can see, you can see what uh, the lights are out there. You see how that spotlight is is doing a perfect V right here, and that's just from using the kit parts. So um, I'll turn this back on. I'll go back and I'll show you what I did uh, as far as to get this effect. And I'm gonna do all th these two sides the same way. This one in the back is gonna be a little different. Um, I'm not so much going to look for a lot of light to come out uh, to come down and shine on the back of this because I'm going to light this uh, registry back here, the Enterprise name, 
it will be back uh, I think it's back here just below the neck um, I've got a different idea how to light that so I'm gonna do that a different way but uh, and there's not really a good way to get this to to angle down to light that anyway because on the back here uh, I think it's actually two or three different openings separate openings for the lights back here which doesn't really uh, contribute much to giving a, a nice solid light on that where the enterprise needs to be so this one will have a little bit of light coming out but not like uh, these three here will but um, so let me disconnect this real quick make sure I'm not going to uh, pull anything apart in here by doing this I've just got this kind of set in place right now and you see that little uh, insert little window insert I've uh, blacked this out I think you can see that without meaning the focus too much but uh, you can see I blacked that out and I just masked off that center opening where the light comes through um, so that's how I've done that and that's light blocked uh, so are the other two pieces I've already done them the same way and um, I've uh, painted the dome itself black on both the inner and the outside because um, there's so much light in this small area that uh, it was just going to take, uh, to, to me, it was just going to take a ridiculous number of coats on just the inside to get the light block properly. And even then, I couldn't guarantee it was going to light block everything. So I just went ahead and came over the outside with black as well. But, um, so what I did here was, let me see if I can fish this wire out without pulling it apart. Yeah. Ground wire just came off, but that's all right. Let's see, get this ground wire of the fish through here. I actually don't even think I had um, the ground wire soldered on here. I think I've just got these taped in place. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, uh, I've got, what I did was I took my, uh, my pin vise and uh, the same size drill bit that I used to drill the uh, opening for that spotlight. Uh, I think, I forget what that was, 130 seconds or something like that. I just drilled a small hole at the bottom here where the pin is. You've got these four pins. And these four pins have a hole that goes all the way down through the center of them. So what I did was I drilled a small hole at the base of it into that hole. And then I came back with a uh, larger drill bit and I'm not sure what this I think this is my three millimeter drill bit I think this is the one I used to drill holes for three millimeter um, and then I just used this I just drilled this hole out a little bit bigger I'll go ahead and drill this one out real quick show you how I did this I just made this hole larger that's already in here and uh, what that let me do was that let me take an SMD with these small wires that the SMD uses, which you can hardly even see it on the camera there. And it was it allowed me to feed these wires up through this pin. And uh, what I actually did was, you can see, maybe, see if I can focus this, you can see where the diode is just sticking out of the hole there. And maybe you can or can't make out the diode, but it's there. It's actually um, right at the base here. So right down the bottom here is where the diode is. I don't, I don't know if you can really make it out on camera, but it's it's right there. And um, what that does is that brings the light up enough to, to allow it to shine down from the dome and uh, actually light the hole itself. And then it's just a matter of using that clear piece insert, uh, light blocking that, and then reducing that beam to where it just does uh, that's that V like you saw on here so that's how I'm doing this and uh, that's what I'm gonna do with these other two sides and like I said this one back here will have some light coming out but I'm not worried about using that as a spotlight I've got a different way of uh, lighting this this enterprise logo back here so give me a minute I'm gonna keep working on this and we'll come back and we'll see where we're at all right I've got the uh, lower sensor dome uh, wired up and set in place I still haven't glued the um, the clear pieces that go in in yet. They're just kind of kind of wedged in the place right now, press fit in the place. Um, I don't want to glue those in yet because I've still got to come back and paint this white, and uh, I want to be able to take those uh, those clear pieces out 
so I don't get white paint all over them now that I've already painted them black and light blocked them. So uh, let's plug this in. And you can see those lights on. Let's turn this light off. And there we go. Spectacular. In my opinion, anyway. But, um, yeah, I think that looks great. You got those three distinct uh, spotlights right there. And uh, I think that's that's going to, that's gonna, once I get the Aztecs on here, that's really going to look great with the lighting on it. Even though I'm going to have to subdue the Aztecs a little bit, unfortunately, because this is the A. But uh, this is going to light that lower registry up real nice. And then I've got that light coming off here. You know, this is no light coming out the back here. I haven't put a, uh, a light back here. There's really just, um, just the slightest amount of light. And I haven't put the clear piece in yet either. So that's, uh, once I get that in, that'll carry a little bit of light. But I may add one more SMD in there for that back light, just to have a little more light coming out the back there. But I'm not, not planning on using that to uh, try to light that Enterprise uh, registry on the back here. I'm going to, uh, my thought is, I'm going to, uh, when we get to the neck part, I'm going to work on a spotlight from the neck uh, shining forward to light this. So I'm not going to worry about trying to use this. This part here, I don't think you're going to get that angle right to really get it to light up real nice. Um, so I'm just going to do a low light, just a little bit of light coming out the back here. And then, like I said, when I get to the neck, I'm going to work on putting a spotlight from the neck shining forward where that Enterprise needs to be so and i'm sorry if i keep flip, flipping people off <laughs> for some reason <laughs> some reason this video it seems like i'm looking at the camera and seeing my middle finger stuck out pointing stuff out so i'm sorry but um uh i will uh try to try to avoid that from now on but uh anyway we got uh so this is in place i'm really happy with it i like the way it is i have to do a little more light blocking um so i'll have to come in and uh, i'll tape this off because i don't want to get well, really, I don't need to. I need to put my window masks on here and, and light block around here anyway um, because I did have some of that ghosting going on around the windows from where it's just bleeding into the plastic a little bit around the edges. Um, so I'm going to put the window masks in place, and then I'll get this whole thing painted white, uh, and then I can start working on my uh, aztec for the uh, lower sensor dome, which I'm not worried about doing until I get that uh, impulse deck done on the top. Um, this is something that can be done any time after the two halves are together or before the two halves are together. But uh, I'm real happy with the way that turns out. One more time, turn this off, take a look at it. Yeah, I think that uh, that lights it perfectly. That looks good. And that's just using the kit part. So I'm glad I went with the kit part because it, it turned out really nice. And with those clear pieces, it, it does help that light, uh, light, light really good, um, light perfectly. And uh, the, the, the key to this is, is to use those 0603 SMDs, that's what I used, uh, white SMDs, and to get them as high up on that post, those posts as you can, facing out. Um, and then that will let that light shine down, because if you don't put them up high enough, you won't get light coming down the saucer, because this, this dips in so much. So you need to get them up as close to the, uh, as I'm looking at it here, to the top of the sensor dome. Um, which would be if it was flipped over, not to confuse everybody, the lower part of the sensor dome. But where those pegs connect to the sensor dome piece itself, I guess is the best way to say it, you need to get those SMDs as close up to that as possible so that way you get the light casting down off of that. But uh, real happy with the way that turned out. Um, I think I am going to uh, work on getting the impulse deck finished. Uh, and that way I can, uh, we're getting close to being able to, uh, to seal this up. Um, I do want to put one more, I think one more SMD in the back just to give it a little light coming out the back here, but, uh, that's going to be a real quick and easy fix. So give me a little bit, work on this some more and we'll come back and take a look. All right, guys. So I've got this, uh, this pretty much all done and, uh, ready to seal up. I've got, uh, that lower sensor dome is in place. It's all painted and ready for uh, detail and for the Aztecing. Everything's sealed up. So that's ready to go. I do want to point out, don't forget you do have to drill a hole to run your wires through. Um, I drilled mine just a little bit forward of this hump in the back here, just, just behind it. Uh, that way I know I got plenty of room, especially with these pegs here. I got plenty of room for... Uh, those wires to get down in there and they won't get uh, they won't be in the way of anything once I put them in there and I uh, also drilled it there because that way when it uh, comes into the neck it'll actually drop in 
Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's going to drop in just forward of these two pins, right at these two pins here. And you can see that first set of windows here. By dropping it in these two pins, when I pull it, it's going to come around. You can see this other pin right here. When I pull that, it's going to make that wire run straight in this area where there's no windows and it won't block anything. So that'll work out or should work out great. Uh, I've also been working on uh, installing a, uh, a piece of uh, tube, a piece of brass tubing in there. And uh, what I'm going to do is put an SMD in there. And this is going to be the spotlight that is going to highlight that uh, enterprise registry or logo in the back here. Uh, so that's why I'm going to do the light that up. I've tested it out and uh, I've still got a little more work to do, but it's, I've, I've seen enough to know that I can make it work. Um, sorry for those of you that hate it because it's not canon, but um, if you hate that, you're really going to hate what I do with the nacelles. Because uh, uh, the ideas I've got as far as getting that inner registry lit on the nacelles uh, incorporates uh, adding a piece that isn't there usually. But uh, I don't care. My main thing is, like I said, I want to do practical lighting on this. And uh, I'm going to experiment with a couple of things along the way. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. So I've got that lower sensor dome in place. Um, I've got that hole drilled for the wires. Everything in the upper part of the saucer is in place. I went and uh, put tulip and light blocked my thruster areas and everything else that need to be light blocked. So this is ready to seal up. Um, what I want to do is I want to get everything wired. I've got uh, four wires from the top of the saucer. Uh, or excuse me, the bottom part of the saucer that have to wire in with all these wires from the top of the saucer. And then I need to uh, run extensions from these through that hole and uh, have it come out the bottom of my saucer. And that way uh, I can get everything closed up and then do one more light test before I seal it up. Because I want to make sure once I get everything wired together, everything's going to work the way I need it to once it's sealed up. And then once I do that light test, everything tests out good, I'll be ready to seal this up. So give me a minute. I'm going to work on getting all these wires together and getting this kind of closed over so we can do one more light test and we'll come back and take a look at it. All right. So I've got this wired. I've got it taped shut temporarily. Um, I, I, I did have to do a little bit of work to get this thing to close up because uh, the back section had a couple things in the way. So just be cognizant of that when you uh, position your wires and all that towards the back here that Make sure they're not going to be in the way, you know, test it every so often. Make sure it's not going to be in the way. I do quite a bit of work to get everything rearranged so I could get this closed up in the back. Everything else closed up fine, but that back section I had to get closed up. And uh, But it's finally closed up, and I've got it taped shut for now. Um, I've still got some gaps around it because obviously it's just taped shut. It's not glued yet. But uh, it's, it's pretty obvious looking at this just getting it closed that it's going to take quite a bit of filler uh, putty to fill this in a couple of spots. Uh, but other than that, it went together pretty well. Again, like I said, just the back side had to have some work done to it. So I've got this kind of wired up to the uh, control board. Let's flip the switch on. And there we go. Everything's lighting up. And uh, like I said, the, the reason for doing this is because we want to do a light, last light check uh, before we seal this thing up permanently. And uh, I'm glad I did because I had to replace uh, this SMD for some reason. Uh, I don't know if the small, the wires are so small in these SMDs that they break easy. And I think it might have had a small break in it. So I just uh, took it out and replaced it. And uh, this one looks a little bit brighter than that one. But it'll even out once I put uh, some UV resin uh, in this to make just a slight, uh, a little, little bulb-like uh, shape on top of it. It'll even out. So not too worried about that. But everything else is lighting up. Both of our, All of our navs are lighting up. You see, we got our strobe here. Uh, I've got the wire here for the spotlight, which looks good. I got that forward and that that small one towards the back here. That's going to light up that registry back here, and uh, we've got a forward spotlight. So that all looks good there. And then we've got our uh, officer's dining light, and you can see that lights up. And when I take it off, it stays low lit. Once I take it off, it does go completely dark, and that's fine. Um, 
I don't know where that light leak is coming from. I tried a couple, tried another round of tulip and I'm still missing it somewhere. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, that'll work out just fine. But uh, so that's lit up. And uh, other than that, we've got our transition. And there we go to blue. So that looks good as well. Let's flip it over, take a look at the uh, the underside here, make sure everything's good there. Oh, I got stuck on there. And again, all of our lights are flashing. We've just got the three strobes. And uh, let me get the spotlight. Let's check these spotlights on here. And there we go. Now, these two side ones here, aren't as bright as this forward one and that's fine because these don't need to be as bright as long as I've got this one to light up that registry in the front here I'm happy with that and uh, let me see if I turn this monitor off we can see this a little bit better yeah it's not picking up the low light very well probably because I got my TV on too and that's casting a little bit of light but that's fine like I said it's just a low light on these two sides and then I've got this forward light on this side but uh, yeah that's gonna work out fine I got a little bit of light coming out the back here but uh, like I'd mentioned I'm gonna put a forward spotlight coming off the front of the neck that's gonna light that uh, enterprise uh, registry right here real nice so that should be good I've got obviously light leaks once I get this glued together and I start working on this seam around the saucers edge uh, once I get that worked out I'll come back over all this with uh, some black and finish uh, light blocking the rest of this where I've got these couple of light leaks but uh, yeah it's looking good it's turned out nice uh, let's see let's take a look around we've got uh, we've got a rec deck you can see the lights for that I'm not gonna worry about getting into uh, focusing on that because we've already seen it and then there's our Ford observation and uh, I've got the oh one other thing we got to look at is let me turn this light on a second so I can find the wire we've got to look at our thrusters and uh, the impulse engine which remember are all wired together so let me get those hooked up cut this light back off all right, and you can see our thrusters there at uh, all four corners. We got the one here. You can see my finger blocking it out there. And then we got another one in this corner and in this corner. And uh, those are lighting up fine. Like I said, that, that light's more of an orange than a yellow. I don't know what the deal is with these, but that's fine. Um, that'll work out. But uh, and we've also got our uh, impulse engines. Uh-oh. Looks like I might have lost the light there. I'm about to check the connection there. I might have accidentally uh, messed it up when I was fixing that other light, but one of my LEDs is out. So again, that's why we do these light checks because uh, we want to make sure that everything's good before we seal it up. So let me get this open back up and take a look at that and we will come back and see what we're going to do next. All right, guys. So I got that, uh, that uh, bulb fixed. I actually had to replace it one of the uh, connections on the back of the LED itself would come loose and if you push down on it it would just the light would go out so I don't need that so I've got that swapped out you see that's lit up but uh, everything's lit up good I, just a couple things I think I'm going to do uh, the rec deck here these side windows these small side windows I think I need to put some SMDs back here just to put a little more light uh, on the back side of this near the window because that should be a little brighter you know, you've got the brightness of these windows. This should be a little bit brighter on this. So I think I'm going to put some SMDs just to each side, either side of that uh, rec deck piece, and uh, let the light kind of bleed into the back here and light these, especially these two small round portals. You see there's barely any light coming out. So I'm going to do that. Um, also, I noticed with these thrusters, where the uh, it's not quite the piece I put in there the blight block isn't quite con contacting the bottom let me turn this light on 
uh, isn't quite contacting the bottom edge of the saucer. There's a little bit of light bleed from that on these bottom portals, these bottom thruster openings um, on these. And uh, you can see, see right there on the bottom there, there's some white light bleeding through there. So I'm going to have to add some tool up in there, see if I can't get that to seal off. And uh, other than that, these windows aren't lit on the bottom because I've got them masked over still from when I was painting them. Um, so those are masked off, but uh, other than that, everything else looks pretty good. Like I said, all this light bleed will be taken care of once I mask these windows and then get this edge. Um, I got to do this edge seam and uh, then we are going to uh, have to work on getting those sensor bands worked back in, which I uh, got uh, mail from Gus over G cows today and he worked up. A nice set of sensor bands he sent them to me in two colors one in like a, a darker more black color and one in kind of a grayish tone so I can try those out and see which tone I want to go with but uh, he worked these off of the uh, the model itself and these look fantastic so can't wait to use those so I've got those from Gus uh, those will be available on his website after uh, I've tested them out on the model. He tests them out on, on his model, but he wants me to build this model and use those and see how they look before he puts them on the website. So they'll be on his site available at some point. And then he also worked up this a decal for this detail on the back here. Because again, I got a little heavy handed with the sanding and uh, sanded off a little bit of this detail on the back. Uh, and I'm not going to try to etch it. <laughs> I'm not... The greatest person at re-etching stuff so I asked Gus to uh, work up a decal for it and uh, that's what he did and these they look great he's done a couple different shades for me to test out and uh, see which one seems to work out best so I've got that so again thank you to Gus over G cows for sending that but uh, I'm gonna get this just sand this smooth and use that decal for that detail instead but uh, other than that everything else looks good I uh, got that impulse engine worked out. All of my navs are working. My spotlights are all working and my one strobe on top of the uh, bridge is working. So everything looks good. I also, when I, I open this up to deal with uh, those two light issues I just mentioned, I'm going to see, uh, I, right now I've got a piece in under the BC deck of uh, foil tape that I put on a piece of um, styrene and taped on there to reflect the light. And I think, I don't think I need it because I think there's a little bit too much light being reflected back through these windows. I don't know if the camera will show up, but when you turn this off, you see these edge windows. Um, these are, you know, they're, they're, I, I'm happy with the brightness coming through these, but when you look at the light from coming out the windows in the BC deck, they just, uh, they almost seem whiter, even though it's the same LED strip. Uh, there's some discoloring, I think, coming through these uh, acrylic pieces on this one. And it could just be, like I said, because I've got that one piece that's reflecting light more. It's reflecting more light through these pieces here. I think I'm going to take that piece out and see if that uh, brings that down a little bit more, even with these edge windows. So that's another thing I'm going to work on. Uh, so I'm going to work on that, and uh, we'll come back and check in here in just a little bit. All right, so I made the adjustments I wanted to make and the saucer is completely sealed up at this point. Everything is, is glued together, ready to go. Uh, the lights are, are all working now. I got that, uh, that rear impulse figured out. I don't have it on right now. Let me hook it up. Let's see, there is our spotlight there. And on the bottom, and I still got, you can see a couple of windows I unmasked, so you can see how those are going to turn out. But I haven't unmasked all of them yet, because I still got some more painting to do there yet. But uh, you can see how those spots are turning out. Those all look good. Let's hook up the uh, thrusters and impulse. And there we see all the thrusters are lit up. And uh, those all sealed up pretty nice. From the inside, I didn't really see any light leak. I think one of these forward ones had just the slightest bit. When the thrusters were off, you can see just the slightest bit of light um, coming through, but only if you really got up close and looked in there. You're not going to see it when the model's off unless you're up close looking in that particular thruster, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, that'll be fine. Um, you know, at the end of my builds, I always have a discussion about what I would do different, and I can tell you now, one of the things I would have done different 
<laughs> I'm too far along in this now to worry about this build. But these acrylic windows, I would have uh, waited until I finished the build. And uh, you can see those impulse engines there now. And again, like I said, you don't see the hot spot like that does there. So it doesn't look as off as it does in the uh, viewfinder right now. But uh, what I was saying was I would have saved the acrylic window inserts uh, till after the end and just pushed them in as flush as I could get them without worrying about sanding them and all that. Because you can see, and I did add some more light to this rec deck here, you can see. Let me uh, focus here a little bit for you. I might have to focus a little bit more. And uh, I don't know how clear I'll be able to get those windows. Probably not very clear. But uh, you can see slightly through those, uh, those round windows. Those are the acrylic inserts. And uh, you can see through them a little bit. You can make out some of the detail. So um, I would have rather waited until the end to have done those rather than doing them early and then having to sand them flush. I don't think you have to worry so much about sanding these flush. Um, I think they look good once you push them in just like those, those two there. Once you push them in and get them nice and flush, as flush to the hull as you can, they're, they're great. They're awesome. You can't really even tell that they're not 100% flush. So that's one thing I would have done differently. I may do the rest of the model that way, even though it may look a little off because of these rim windows here, the way I did those and sanded them flush. But um, I just think they look a lot better that way. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, everything is sealed up on it. My, uh, my next big step, I'll turn this light on, now is going to be to uh, start working on this this uh, seam we've got all the way around the saucer here, which for me isn't too difficult because I'm not worried about saving these sensor bands. Once I get this uh, seam dealt with, I'll come back and uh, Gary actually provides uh, masks, excuse me, to uh, mask off the sensor bands. Well, since I don't need to use them to mask off the sensor bands, what I'm going to do is probably use, uh, if I can, use those to mask off the band where the windows are, the two bands here. And then I'll mask off the top with some masking tape or that. And then I'll use some high build primer to, uh, to build up. Actually, I got that backwards. I'm sorry. I do need to mask off uh, the sensor bands themselves. So that'll work out perfect. Because, like I said, Gary provides a mask for it. So I'll mask these sensor bands off. I'll use the uh, window mask that Gary provides also for these and I'll come back with some high build primer and build those trenches up just a little bit and uh, come back once I get that done take those off I'll do a layer of uh, a coat of white primer just to kind of take any edges off of uh, those trenches and uh, then I can come in when I'm ready and use uh, Gary's sensor band decals that he has uh, sent me to try out so those should work out great. So that's going to be the next thing I'll be working on is uh, doing this seam here. But uh, that's going to take me a little bit to work on uh, to get that up. So I'm going to cut this video off here. I think it's only, we're pretty sure, I think it's only about 25, maybe 30 minutes. But uh, I, I want to get a video out and I don't want to, uh, to wait another couple days to get one out. And uh, it's going to take me a little bit to do that. Plus, it may be a little bit longer anyway before I get the next episode out after this one. Because I, um, I only have like four weeks till the Richmond IPMS uh, Old Dominion Open takes place uh, here in Richmond. And I want to have, uh, I've already got the, the Kronos one I want to enter there. And I want to finish up the display base for that Grissom. And there's a couple of things I want to go back and, and tweak on that Grissom build. So I can put that in the IPMS show as well. But uh, I've only got four weeks to get that done. So I need to get working on that. Um, so it's, it, that's going to kind of be my priority right now is to get that stuff finalized and then come back to this build. So it may be a little bit before I don't, hopefully it's not a couple weeks, but it may be a little bit before I come back and do another episode after this one, just to let you know. But, uh, if it, if it is a while, that's what's going on. I'm trying to get that stuff done and also having it done for IPMS. It'll also be ready to go come uh, Wonderfest in a couple months. But, uh, anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for uh, the feedback and uh, all the new subscribers. Welcome. I uh, appreciate you for subscribing and checking out the videos. Um, as always, I like to give a shout out to my sponsors, Gus over G-Cows. Gus, thank you for the sensor bands. 
Gary over at Mask Design, who's Aztec masking I am using for this. And Cass over at Lake Monster Details, who has already provided me with a couple of upgrades. Plus, we still got to get to, I've been working on a little bit by bit, his uh, the uh, shuttle bay that he sent me for the Enterprise A. So I've got that to show yet. Uh, and, well, I've got to complete it first, but then we've got that to uh, take a look at. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. Till next time, keep modeling.